Ah, oh, there you are, my heart is. A very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, and I thought I'd just pop up and have a quick chat with you, see what's happening Saturday night, of course. Nothing gets past me, and uh, I'm quite sure nothing gets past you as well. Normally, of course, I'd be broadcasting on Nation Radio, but we're sorting out the technical side of that, so it's Sunday nights only for the next couple of weeks, which is wonderful. And you can come and join me then. Wonderful. So there you are. So that's what What's happening? But I thought we'd have a quick Saturday night pop up, see how you're all getting on. Carl Carlos Donnelly, you hoo, you hoo to you as well, of course. Always nice to hear from you and a big dinky do. Mark Gibson, excellent stuff. Tracy, come and join us. Come on, everyone, come and join us. Very, very important. Now, I don't have a sharing facility at the moment because um, of uh, logging into different bits of equipment, so I'm relying on all of you to do that. So you'll need to do the sharing tonight. Hello, how's your way tonight in holiday of a good week? Says uh, Kareem, dinky do Kareem. The wonderful Jane McDonald, dinky do. Lovely to hear from you, Jane. Hope you're well. Everett Clifford in the United States of America. All right, Winston, says Hugh Bond. <laughs> All right, Scotty, how's things, says Rab? Excellent, Rab. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And a big dinky do. Martin Rose there. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us as well, of course. The more the merrier, I say. But you're going to be doing the sharing. But we're also settled in for a bit of a session here so that should be quite good and uh, I've got some juice with me there if the, if the tough get going you know mm. I mean if the going gets tough and uh, dinky do for James Clough lovely to have you with us of course spread the word tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClear is live on Facebook live Mark Gibson Hi, Scotty. Hi, Mark. Hope you're well. Lovely to hear from you, of course. Dinky-doo from St. Johnsbury in Vermont, in the United States of America. The Reverend Everett Clifford. Always lovely to have you with us. Are you a reverend, sir? I think you are a very reverend. Do tell. Spill the beans. Now's your chance. Uh, so that would be lovely, Everett. And then I will know your proper title, and I will know what to call you now. It's roasting, roasting hot where I am, so you'll probably see me absolutely running with perspiration. In other words, gluing. That sort of thing, but that's what happens. There's Tony Mack. Excellent, Tony. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic as well. Hello, Scotty. Uh, we used to hear videos from the Blue Star Group. Are you Billy Ocean, says Rab? No, Rab. I'm Scotty McClue, as you well know. So don't give me any of your nonsense. Willie Drysdale's watching. Hello, Willie. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And a big dink you do. There's Ian Valens just joined us, of course. Welcome, Ian. God and Roddy. Good to see you, Scotty. Always good to see you, Gordon, and thank you so much, as I say, for all your wonderful support. I am much humbled that one of our top broadcasting stars like yourself takes the time to uh, follow Scotty McClure. Very much appreciated, Gordon. I can tell you that for nothing. Hi, Scotty. What does Dinky Do mean? Dinky Do is Roman for it is all well with you. What's happening with Nation Radio? We're on on Sunday nights for the next two weeks and then back to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 10 o'clock sharp through until midnight. I'm at a wedding reception, so I can't hear him lip reading. Well, I'd better get my lips a bit closer to the camera then, Willie Drysdale. And I hope you're having a lovely wedding. Have you been up at the Gay Gardens, as they say? Are you a blue nose, says Hugh Bums. Well, no, I just, uh, it's just I don't drink at all, actually, Hugh. Um, although I used to take a refreshment, but uh, I know that can lead to a blue nose. You're my dream man, Scotty. So they are excellent stuff, Pauline, and dinky do. Thank you very much for joining us. Can you dinky do for our broth and I'll pop a smoky in the post for you? <laughs> Spilling the beans, the Democratic Party committed. Uh, what have we got here? You've heard that on here, Scotty McClue. Oh, yes, we hear lots on here. Murray Ramage, good evening, boss. Dinky do. Is that yours? Hot, hot, hot. Uh, Ricky Evans, dinky do, Ricky. Lovely to hear from you. And marvellous stuff as well. I'll have to go and give myself a mop down um, periodically, of course. So there we are. Excellent stuff. And that's what we'll do. In fact, I might nip off and just make sure I've got everything here. David Lafferty's watching. 
Welcome, David. Can we all have a share? Can everybody share, 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 share. Scotty McClure on a Saturday night just for you. Jason Green says, good evening. Good evening, Jason. Dink you do, Mr. McClure from Ricky Evans. Hello, Ricky. I hope you are getting on well. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. Fantastic. Uh, see if I said you're my dream man, I'd get pelter, says Rab. Of course you get pelter, Rab, for goodness sake, you know. Proper man chat on here. <laughs> Wonderful. But I'm sure you're everybody's dream man, Rab. Not a problem. Dinky do for Mr. McClure. So you can see all that in front of you. Lovely to have you all with us. And a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Shared Scotty. Thanks, Kareem. That's fantastic. Kareem Zakaria. Uh, is there, and uh, what a wonderful, wonderful man. We have Kareem, of course, on the talk show, usually at 10 o'clock sharp, and it's a privilege to have him on. Neil O'Gormley, dinky do, Marlon Reed, dinky do. If you see a chat with Big Huey doing the rounds on Scotty McClure's Facebook page, make sure you have a listen. That was last Sunday night, and Big Huey came on for an RJ Bargy. And my goodness, did Big Huey get an RJ Bargy? I can tell you that for nothing. There's a Marlon Reed has shared it. Nicholas, thank you, my darling, and a big share to you. Billy Porter says, hi, Mr. C from Tenerife, says David Lafferty. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, Billy. And dinky do, I always say. And uh, I hope things are going well in Tenerife. So there is the lighting all right tonight. Can you tell me I've got an overhead light? There looks like I've got a halo. Maybe we're heading for sainthood. Who knows what's happened? Peter Dale Nevins, dink you do. Always a joy to hear from you. What a top man. Hi, Scotty. I've shared some Sal Williams. Good, Sal. Thanks very much. Let everybody know that Scotty's on. We want the maximum number of people joining us tonight. Mrs. Max says, I don't listen to her. When she asked me if I ever listened to her, I said, sorry? <laughs> yes, says Marlon Reed. Thank you, Marlon. Very, very much appreciated and great to get sharing. I hope you don't mind a quick pop-up in a Saturday night. It's um, probably not a great relation to live on Nation Radio, but it's lovely to be with all of you internationally. Uh, Ewan says, damp cloth, copper, zinc, make a battery. Good for you, Ewan. Yes, uh, you have a circle of... Um, Copper, a circle of damp cloth, a circle of zinc, and you can put together a voltaic pile from Alessandra Volta. Do you play Fortnite, Scotty? No, just once a week, Robert. So there you go. Excellent stuff. Although I am on Twitch television now, Scotty underscore McClure. And, uh, of course, make sure that you subscribe to Scotty. Now, when I say subscribe, it doesn't cost you a bean. It's an interesting word on YouTube. Just click the subscribe to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Smart Arna says, my uncle, who's a dwarf, got annoyed when he got pickpocketed. He said, hello, can people go? Oh, absolutely, yes, yes, of course. <coughs> so there we are. I do feel for him. Uh, Simon Entwistle is watching. Thank you, Simon. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. On a Saturday night, live on Facebook Live, just for you, dinky do. Frank Crumby has come and joined us. Lovely to have you with us, Frank. If you can all keep sharing and sharing like mad. Hi ho, says Kirsty Hogg. Hi ho, Kirsty. Lovely to have you with us. Do you support Patrick Thistle? Um, says Robert Smith. Um, well, I had to find the ground one day, and the policeman said, follow the crowd. I ended up in the supermarket. What made you take up... Uh, Teaching, you're very good. Oh, thank you. Uh, the world would be a much better place if we all lived like the Scottish, says Everett Clifford. Do you know that Winston Churchill said only the ancient Greeks have done more for civilization than the Scots? Quite right, too. And uh, who's going to win the boxing, Scotty? Why are you take me on? Come on, then. right? Very good. Uh, Scott Wishart's there. Excellent. We don't know, David. I'm not really a boxer, to be quite honest with you. Although I've had a boxer um, living with me, fabulous dogs, lovely dogs, very affectionate, very affectionate. 
No problem at all. Um, so there we are. Robert Smith, thank you, do. Lovely to have you with us. All the way from Spain, sir, of course, says Scott. Did you hear about the fishmonger who got sacked? He was absolutely gutted. Uh, there we are. And uh, hi, Mr. Scott, says uh, Abdullah. Fantastic, Abdullah. Hi, Scott. He just joined. What's happened to you yesterday and today? Hope all's well. Julie Shaw, for the next couple of weeks, it's Sunday nights only on Nation Radio. Good evening, Scott. He's sitting out enjoying the sunset at East Coast Bride. Very nice. That was a lovely sunset at East Coast Bride, Stephen. I used to take a week in East Coast Bride. Uh, just for the beach, you know, it's lovely to go to the beach. Uh, Mark Wilson, thank you, do lovely to have you with us. The sun set, has it no, says David Rickard, oh, has it no? Excellent, well, I mean, it has. There's absolutely no doubt about that. The sun has set. More sharing, come on, I want these numbers up. We've got 22 here. Now, that goes into thousands. As you know, you'll see it at the bottom of Scott and McRae's videos. But we need to get you sharing and sharing and sharing. That should be a way up in the hundreds by now. So there you are. Very important. So, guys, come on. Join in. Take it seriously. I mean, you don't take the show seriously, of course, because that's me. But take the sharing seriously to let everybody know what's happening. Very, very good. Uh, Ian Kaz joined us. Thank you, you, Ian. <coughs> have you never knocked, have you ever knocked anyone out with your bare knuckles? Uh, no, no, but I may have done when I've taken my shoes off. So there you are. Have you lost weight, Scotty? Oh, yes, I'm way down to 20 stone. It's just falling off me at the moment. There you are. I'll have to get new trousers. Uh, <laughs> my weight to nothing. Right, I've got some juice here for the uh, for the hot minutes mm. oh that's lovely there's a lovely wee shine off your face says Rab I know Rab I'm just going to go Scotty tell Stuart and miss him says Sal I miss him very much so there you go it's the stuff listen I'm going to have to leave you I'm just going to give myself a wee comfort break don't you go away now and uh, as James Bond would say don't fiddle with the switches right exit back in a minute very important. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, the mm. Ah, yes. There we go. Now, there, there, that'll take the shine off the face. Oh, that's better. I hope you didn't go away there. Uh, do you play Fortnite on a Thursday night? Uh, no, Robert, just once a week. Uh, you play, play Fortnite once a week. <laughs> but I am on Twitch television. So get yourself on to Scotty underscore McClue. Very, very important. Twitch television. Just for you, dinky do excellent stuff. And uh, do you mean the beach at West Kilbride? Sea Mill is lovely. Oh, is there not a beach at East Kilbride now if they take it away? Lord Clyde, following him, my black lab does the same. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Julie. Yes, he's just been following about. Did he make an appearance there when I was away? Uh, John Howie's watching. Welcome, John. If you've all just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, dinky-doo, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, live on Facebook Live. Um, hope you shook it well, says Rab Hill. Um, say hi, yes, yes, I shook my cloth as I was mopping myself down, Rab. Say hi to Sally from Stuart. Tell her to enjoy Blackpool and not to worry about me looking after her budget. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I remember um, having a toothless budget, and that was how it sucks seeds. So there you are. That's how it succeeds. You see, did you get that? Uh, Jan Moreau Pearson says, hi. Hello, Jan. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's Saturday night pop-up just for you. Dinky do. Oh, hello, Scotty. This is Helen Aitken Anderson. Hello, Helen Aitken Anderson. How are you tonight? I hope you're dinky do. Can we have more sharing, please? Come on, share, share, share. And where are the hearts and the thumbs up? Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, de tap at the bottom of your screen so I can see you there. The coal seller says, hi, Scotty. From East Kilbride, do you sell coal? The coal seller. <coughs> Are you in the coal seller in the East Kilbride? Do tell. Spill the beans. We can spill on here. Ben Lucas is watching. Hi, Ben. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome to Scotty McClue's. And we're live 
We're live on Facebook Live. Normally, I'd be on Nation Radio, but I'm going to be on Nation Radio. Well, there's some hearts and some thumbs up. That's better. Near the beach, near the beach at East Coast. Bright Cole Zella. How come you've not been on the radio, Scotty? We're doing technical stuff at the moment, Julie. So for the next couple of weeks, you'll get a Sunday night only. And as you can see, I'm at a secret location. I'm not in my own studio. So, um, you know, that's why we're, uh, we want the best quality. Um, Parliament City, Scotty. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I'm still loving Nation Radio. Christopher Granger, everybody loves Nation Radio. It is an outstanding radio station. And we'll get our new audience figures in about a month or so. We'll be able to let you know exactly who's listening to the World Stop radio station and to the World Stop broadcaster. Fantastic. So can we share, 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 share. See the little number at the top there? I want to see that up around the 100 mark. So that's up to you lot. So take it seriously and get sharing. It only means clicking your share and sharing it with your groups and letting everybody know what is what. Oh, okay. I've been missing you. I look forward to my weekends with you. Julie Shaw, I look forward to my weekends with Nation Radio Scotland. What an outstanding station. And I am fortunate indeed to be allowed on it broadcasting on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 in the FM, www.nationradio.scot. Robert Amber Crombie says a shout out, always a shout out for you, Mr. Amber Crombie. My wife's a great fan of DIY. Uh, if ever I ask her to do something, she says, do it yourself. Do you still talk to Robin Galloway, remembering the Scott MM days? I haven't spoken to Robin for a while, but a fabulous guy, and of course a superb broadcaster. And Robin and I used to do a handover in the morning at 10 to 9 on Scott FM, and the audience... The audience used to absolutely fly up at that point. You should get a megaphone and take the message to the streets. So there we are. Sucky Hall Street on a Sunday afternoon. Hey, Scotty, I'm Helen from the drum. Big Hamish mentions the show. Oh, Helen, lovely to have you with us. Big Hamish is such a gem. Lovely, lovely man. Great Muthy player. Uh, see the beach in East Bride. Is that now Strathclyde Park? <coughs> have they dreamed it, Rab? Scotty, I'm at work. I have to leave. God bless you and your family and the wonderful people of Scotland, says Everett Clifford. Everett, are you a reverend gentleman? Spill the beans. We listen from Yorkshire. You're not on tonight on Nation. No, Peter. Just on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but only on a Sunday only for the next two weeks, if you'll pardon the Winston Churchill, right? So the next two weeks. <coughs> Excuse me here. <coughs> I've not told Stuart about the next holiday budget may be sitting again, says Sal. Quite right, Sal. We sip of tea from a clue. Mm. Robert says, Cheers, mate. Mitchell's said hi. Thanks, Robert. Dinky you do. And hi to you, of course. Always lovely to have you with us. So there we go. I've just got... Um, a wee mop down to go here. Back with you in a second. No. Oh, the heat in this place tonight is incredible, guys. Incredible heat. Oh, look at the state of me. You'd think I'd had a light refreshment. Uh, Shona McLeod's watching. Dinky you, Shona. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McLeod, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Now, guys... Make sure if you're a LinkedIn person, come and join me on LinkedIn. About 10,000 of you are on there. Scotty, if you had to choose someone to share your show with you, who would it be? Oh, my goodness. Off a cough, you've got some rap. No, rap, just a wee bit. You got the chit chat. Too much blethering. Scotty, do you remember Wolfgang with the organs from the L107 days? I wonder what happened to him. Uh, Wolfgang's still about. He comes on the show. I'm reading the history of the Gorbals as a soothsider to hear the Gorbals was a village from 1285 sold to the city in 1650. How little do we know? Yes, and Grahamstown was a village which is now Glasgow Central Station. How little do we know? Peter McGillan's watching. Dinky-doo. <coughs> is that just tea in your mug? 
This is my mug here. <laughs> oh, no. There we go. Seize the day. You'll not be able to read that because it's backwards. Horace says seize the day. Can you see that at home? Can you see it the right way around? Do tell me. Mm. Is that an accordion I detect? Let's hear you, says Darren. How's Clyde doing, Scotty, says Julie. He's here. He's having a wee lie down. I don't know if you can see him. I'll move that to see if you can see him. There we go. We lie down. You see him there? You see him there? There he is. There he is. There's Clyde having a wee lie down. What a good boy. Excellent stuff. So there you go. That just keeps you, keeps you out of mischief and lets you know what's happening here, Julie. What about that? There you go. You ask something. And there it's there for you, right away. How fantastic is that? Graham Loud has joined us. Uh, yes, there is a wee accordion sitting on the table there. <laughs> I'll see if I can give you a wee tune. Uh, we'll see what's, what's going on. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah, lovely, lovely guy. He's having a wee sleep there. Fantastic. He's just chewed up a biscuit packet. Um, Neil's watching. Thank you, do. Neil Hallgate. Lovely to have you with us, Neil. Hope you're well. Uh, if you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Carpe diem is Latin for seize the day. It is Tony Matt. Lovely cotton, says Rob. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mrs. McClue chose well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Pound a yard. Fantastic. That's what we like. I am, of course, broadcasting from a secret location tonight. So that's what's happened there. Um, we'll see if we can get you a wee tune on the accordion, though, if you're very, very good. Can everybody share? Share, 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 share. Airport on Saturday night, Scott will do pop up just for you. And, of course, tomorrow night, Sunday night, we're live on Nation Radio at 10 o'clock sharp. Be prepared for the Gremlins, of course. And for two weeks, it's a Sunday night only. So two more Sundays, and then we should be able to move into the new studio. And everything should be dinky-doo and uh, tickety-boo and all that. Uh, Andy McCrory's watching. Hello, Andy. Lovely to have you with us. Can everybody tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue just for you popping up on Facebook Live and saying dinky do. Excellent stuff. So there we go, Andy. And uh, I'll give you a wee tune. What tune would you like? Take your jumper off, for goodness sake, before you melt. So there you are. The only problem, Stuart, I've got no back to the shop. It's just a collar. <laughs> but I might do that. And, of course, it's a white shot, so it would probably flare up uh, in vision. But we'll see what's what. I maybe take the jumper off at some point, actually, and that might just calm things down. Good. Look forward to you getting back to normal. Absolutely, Julie. I think it's very important. What you're saying is Mrs. McClure uh, has bombed you out. It's a Saturday night thing. So there you are. Wonderful. Yes, absolutely. She goes doing the bingo in a Saturday and, of course, gives it uh, two fat ladies, 88, legs 11. <whistles> you can't do that now, though, can you? It's probably not entirely 100% politically correct. So has the bingo calling changed, I said. <clears throat> um, Tony Mack says, you're in a secret location. You're not in the jail, are you? Just joking. Of course not, Tony. Don't be ridiculous. Evening, Scotty. Any piano playing this year? Ah, Andy. There we are. We're all right, excellent little pause there, brought to you courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. Our thanks go out to them. Uh, piano playing, if you get yourselves on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, put in Scotty McClue Piano, I'll give you a lesson and teach every single one of you how to play the piano in seven minutes. So there you are. Any tune you like, dealer's choice. So there we are, dealer's choice. Darren Meekham says, well, wait till we see. <clears throat> I'll see if I can get over there and get the accordion for you. Oh, for goodness sake. Ah, here we are. There we are. Never a dull moment when McClue's about, I say. Wonderful. Do you remember Jeremy Beadle? Watch out, Beadle's about. We need that. Thanks for answering me, Scotty. Followed you for years, went on nation. Um, not there. Political correctness is crap, to be honest, says Rab. I know Rab, but we're kind of stuck with it. 
I mean, you think of my show before we had to observe all these things. Absolutely, quarter of a million people every half hour listening. Fantastic. There you are. So it's a bit of a killer of the old politically correct, but it's supposed to make us all aware, isn't it? There we go. What have we got there? Neil Martin Allen Dinky <laughs> tune in one. Conor McBride has said, will you know, come back again. Cracking tune, says Conor McBride. Absolutely, that's what I say. If the technical side lets us down, I play, will you know, come back again. Very nice, says Peter Lockwood. Lovely to hear from you, Peter. Thank you, do. Will you know, come back again, says Julie Shaw. Absolutely, Julie, of course. Superb accordion playing, says Tony Mac. We're getting there, Tony. I have to do a wee bit of practice, obviously. Um, uh, I'm a wee bit out of practice, but the wonderful Linda, who comes on Nation Radio and Scotty McClue's Nightline on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, she's outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And of course, you'll see Linda in Tutti Frutti. Remember Tutti Frutti, Susie Kittles, with uh, the, the lovely Emma Thompson and the fabulous Robbie Coltrane. There we are. Cool Saddle says, Super Big Man, I thank you guys for putting up that. Why are you not on the radio tonight, says James Duffy. We're sorting out technical stuff, James. So I'm on tomorrow night at 10 o'clock and the next two weeks, Sunday nights only. Linda's excellent too. Love hearing Linda, says Jimmy Shaw. Absolutely. Play Tiny Bubbles by Cindy Divine. Tiny Bubbles. Fantastic, Rav. Is that your favourite, Rav? Is that your number one? Alex Glass is watching. Thank you, Alex. Lovely to have you with us, and welcome to Scotty McClure's Saturday Night Pop-Up Live for you on Facebook Live, saying, thank you, do. Why are you not on the radio, says Alan McGee? Are people not listening? Am I not speaking English or something? Uh, technical uh, challenges, so we're on on Sunday nights, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in two weeks' time. So for the next two weeks, it's a Sunday night only on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM and uh, www.nationradio.scot, the country's top radio station, a fabulous radio station, tremendous music. Uh, when you were on Scott FM, that was the way you were in your views. Just like, oh, certainly not, Julia. Uh, never had the problem at Scott FM, says Alan McGee. No, absolutely. Scott FM was a different setup, of course, in those days. Remember Scott FM's 25 years ago. So there you are. And, uh, you know, it was owned by two big television stations. Uh, fantastic stuff. And it was right across every single bit of central Scotland. So fantastic. Nation Radio has taken over from Scott FM uh, in the affections of the Scottish people. So there we are. Um, Tony Matt, but the job I should take it over the asylum makes me think my hospital radio days. Flying was invented in 1872 by Thomas Flying, who fell and missed the ground. <laughs> Peter Lockwood, or on Magic and Hallam, yes, 
Magic and Hallam, huge radio stations. Century Radio in Manchester, 5.2 million. Uh, Century Radio in the Northeast, I think it was 1.9 million. That sort of thing. Scott was 2.2 million. Fantastic. Uh, watching earlier filmed in Gartloch. Yes, the old Gartloch Hospital out there. I'd forgotten about that. The big um, Victorian asylums. Britain's bounciest weather. Yes, absolutely, Alan McGee. Fantastic stuff. I remember that. Yes, it's rusty. It's wonderful, isn't it? There you go. Have you all got a lot of memories of the radio? Tremendous stuff. But Scott was certainly an absolute belter. And, of course, the half-witted idiots that uh, ended up getting rid of Scotty McClue for no reason um, other than, I think, just uh, sheer arrogance. And then they had to sell the station very quickly. Uh, I remember the drop bottoms comments, absolutely, Peter Lockwood, yes. And uh, loved listening to you, Scott FM, tuned in every night, never missed a night, says Julie Shaw. No, neither did I, Julie. I loved it as well because you guys were absolutely amazing. And uh, we did 460,000 calls one week, remember that. Uh, we didn't get them all on to air, of course, because you could never have done that. But uh, some nights we would try and uh, hit the 100 live on air. I listen to Nation Radio when I'm at work. Best station. Yes, a fabulous station, Mr. Tang. Absolutely. I also never missed it, says Peter Lockwood. No. Uh, where's we fat Bob, says Alan McGee. I don't know, Alan. I've never had any contact with him. Um, you know, uh, see the secret bunker in Fife, not secret anymore, because everybody knows where it is. <laughs> Tell women to keep their hand in their kidney, says Julie Shaw. Well, absolutely, Julie. Very, very sound advice. Very Scottish advice. Obviously, the powers that be don't like you telling the truth. That's always the panic. That's why I love Nation Radio Scotland. We can always tell the truth on Nation Radio Scotland. Remember the mumbling pants? They're so funny. Absolutely, Sal. Remember them as well? Oh, yes, it's still all there. You can go and see it on Scotty McLean's YouTube channel. And uh, you'll get all of that. You can see Scott FM. You can put that in as well. A tremendous radio station. But, of course, like all successful things, people come in and muck it up. So there you are. They get paid big salaries and they think they need to do something to just make a mess of something that's 100% successful. Very strange. Do you keep anything under your bonnet, the most famous bonnet in radio this journey? Ah, oh, I keep so much. The whole There's a whole world's worth of knowledge under the bonnet, Tony. Scotty and Scott FM, Monday to Friday. Hubby said you're only on a Friday. No, no. We were five nights a week. I think it was Monday to Friday. And then we went on the mornings, Monday to Friday, from nine till midday. And the audience doubled. That was up at the quarter million mark. Absolutely amazing. It's funny how doubting Thomases, you meet doubting Thomases that don't understand genuine, true success. And they go, oh, that'll never work. That'll, that'll never take off. Wrong, 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 wrong. And then uh, the mornings, oh no, he wouldn't go in the mornings, no, no. Scottish people will never put up with him shouting and bawling them off. Wrong, 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 wrong. This and radio should advertise Scottish on the air. A hundred feet banners from all high rises in Glasgow Nation Radio advertised on a huge banner. Thoughts of Scotty, thanks for proving me right. Absolutely, Julie. Yes, it was Monday through until Friday. The light above your head's a bit bright. I've got sunglasses on, says Rab. I'll maybe go and put it off for you, Rab, and see if that's an improvement. But you'll need to all tell me if you think it's an improvement, right? So Rab would like the light off. Can everybody share? You're forgetting to share. Come on, share, 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 share. I want to see these figures go up. And then for the rest of the week, share this round. I get annoyed when people say things like, ah, he's sharing again. Why not? That's what it's all about. You know, it doesn't work unless we share it. So there we go. Fantastic stuff. And of course, some of these broadcasts are up to like 27,000. Now, you know, 27,000 people joining you on a Facebook Live pop-up. It's fantastic. Don't blame me, big man, says Rab. I've never blamed you for anything, Rab. 
I'm sure you've never been blamed for anything in your life. There are, you need to be filling your meter with lots of shillings. With all the lights you've got on, says Julie, I know. Uh, Alex Mulgrew shouting at Stephen Milligan. Come on, Stephen. Take it right. Can we have a share? Can everybody share? What time is it? We've no got a clock here or anything. As I say, we're broadcasting from a secret location. So there's no clock. Fantastic. There's no clock in these uh, boarding houses. <laughs> this boarding house is down at um, I better not tell you it won't be a secret location but it's, it's handy for salt coats uh, Andrew Wishmaster Williams thank you do a very warm welcome lovely to have you with us uh, I'm going to see Rab do you think the old halo should go off right now guys Rab's asked us it's about 11 so jury. excellent jury. we'll do a few more minutes if you like um, it's like a halo. They were, yes, I might be an angel. <laughs> what about that? Fantastic stuff. That's what we like. Scotty, you're not supposed to be in the radio tonight. No, Lisa. No, we're not on at the moment. Uh, just tomorrow night, Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, because we've had the gremlins and they're sorting me out a lovely new studio. So two more weeks of Sunday night only, then back to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Just for you, Scotty McLeod saying dinky you do on the radio. No, says Rab. Hi, Scotty, love to see your happy face. And from Australia. And Logan Kerr in Australia. Which part of Oz are you watching in, Anne? We need to hear more. This is wonderful. Fantastic. Anne's in Australia. Excuse me a second. A wee mock doon for Scotty McLeod saying dinky do on the radio. Oh, this is lovely though. They were all together on a Saturday night for the chat. Fantastic. Stuart Savage is watching. Dinky do, Stuart. Lovely to have you with us. Can everybody share, 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 share to your groups as well, guys. So get down going, I am a member of that group. I'll just share. It's got to be clear. Let's see what happens if everybody shares to a group right now. So can you all start sharing to your groups? You just uh, click the screen go share, 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 share. From the Sunshine Coast, says Anne. Oh, lovely, Anne. Have you got it hot there tonight? Something's happened. Uh, Scotty, time for you to spill the beans. Well, there's big energy about Rab. Good things are happening. As you know, you have had a very tough 10 years, so it's always wonderful. But then again, I can't talk to all of you about a tough time because a lot of you have had a very tough time as well so there you are so i send you strength but there's big big energy about there's a lot of excitement at the moment rab so i think wonderful things are happening for you wonderful things are happening for mcclue so there we are that's what we want we want some wonderful things to happen there we are tremendous stuff and of course i get offered some superb jobs People asking me to join this committee, that committee, this board, that board, all these kind of things. And I have to be because I'm absolutely maxed. So I have to be succinct in what I choose to do with my time. Somebody said the other night, do you not fancy being the prime minister? I said, well, I'm absolutely maxed at the moment. I suppose there's always my lunch times. Could you be prime minister in your lunch time? And uh, I was watching old Churchill speaking last night. And although he had a slight speech impediment, his actual speeches were remarkable and his speaking style was very interesting. And I thought that the new lot could really take a lesson out of his book. So there you are. Uh, Scotty, what's your views on Boris? Will he be the catalyst for independence? Well, Cole, I don't really want to be political on here, to be quite honest, but I think... They do far better to negotiate remaining in the EU and stop the nonsense. So they are sent a share to a cousin in Australia, Scotty. Thank you, do. Thanks, Frank. All your groups and everything. Can everybody share? Let's count to five. And then if everybody clicks share, we'll see what happens. Right, are you ready? One. Count with me. Two. Three. Four, five, share, 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 share. Why do people pronounce it Orn 
and not iron. What? What are we talking about? There we are. I better get off. Good night, Scotty and Lord Clyde. We're we'll listening in tomorrow. Jimmy Shaw. Mwah. Sleep well, my darling. Have a lovely, lovely evening. And Rab says six. You've counted to six, Rab. So if everybody shares, that will be fantastic. What's the time? Who's got the exact time, actually? Because I'll need to see in case my shilling runs out. And I have to go. So there we are. But you can join us for a couple of hours tomorrow night on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM. And, of course, at www.nationradio.scot. Half nine, uh, says Rab. Rab, I think you're working me from the back. You're winding the old fella up here. 2300, says Frank Crombie. Excellent, Frank. That's wonderful stuff. So I shall push off. And uh, I hope you all have a great night and dinky do to every single one of you. Are we ready? Shall we sing the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitor zing. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. It's 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. in Australia, Suzanne. Take care, big man, says Rob. And you, Rob, take care of yourself. And glad I'm here to see you again. That's us, folks. We're out of time. This is Scotty McClue. Good night, Scotty. See you tomorrow. Dinky-doo right back at you. Dinky-doo, Scotty. It's 5 o'clock here in Jamaica, says Ebony Babes Care. Five o'clock in Jamaica. My wife's gone to the West Indies. Jamaica. No, she went on her own accord. Whew. There's an old one. Uh, you're getting the night off from Mrs. McClue. Am I getting off with Mrs. McClue? Good night, Scotty. Dinky do. Night, Sal. Night, Angel. God bless you all. And dinky do.